So I've walked you through how to do a number of different modifications to your OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Now some of the times these are just something we want to test out. These modifications are just something we want to test out and see how they are and how they work. So if you ever want to return back to complete stock, meaning getting rid of TWRP, getting rid of root, getting rid of file, the forced disabled file encryption, just everything and go back to complete stock, that's what I want to show you how to do today. So this will work whenever your device is functional as well as when it's soft bricked to where it will not boot up into Android. So the first thing we want to do is download some things ahead of time. And if you'll check the description below this video, we'll have a link to the full tutorial, which will let you download the drivers. It will let you download a recovery tool and then you can even use it to download the full system image for the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T if needed. Well, before we begin, we're going to have to boot into boot your computer into a special boot mode that will turn off driver signature enforcement. And again, that guide will be linked in the full tutorial. So once you have that done we're just going to go ahead and power off the OnePlus 3. And if you can't, if your phone is stuck in a boot loop or it is stuck at an animation, boot animation, then you can simply press and hold down the power button for about 30 to 60 seconds and you should see the phone turn off. Once the device is completely off we're going to press and hold the volume up button for about 10 seconds. And then we're going to connect it to our computer with a USB cable. Then we're going to continue holding the volume up button until our device is de being displayed in device manager. So you're likely going to see this device your OnePlus 3 showing up in the COM ports section. Now the goal is to have it labeled as the 9008, but if it's labeled something else we can simply right click, click on update driver, browse, browse, and see this is the file that I downloaded and then you just want to say whether you want to search the x86 or the x64 folder and that will depend on which type of CPU you have in your computer. Most computers nowadays are x64 or 64-bit but a lot of old, old, old ones will be x86. And then you'll tap on OK and let it install and update that driver. And then you should see it be renamed to something like this Qualcomm 9008. Once your OnePlus 3 is showing up in Device Manager properly, Then we're going to go into this unbrick tool folder that again is linked in the description in the full tutorial. 
you're going to right click on this MSM download tool version 3.0 and I don't know if you can see, but you're going to click on Run as Administrator. That's going to bring up this program right here. And then from here, we just need to click on the Start button. and then we wait now it is downloading the proper files now that it has recognized the device we have And it's downloading this to our computer so that it can install on top of our OnePlus 3. And then the amount of time this takes will depend on your on how fast your internet connection is as well as how fast OnePlus's servers are the system image file will definitely be the biggest file that we have to download So you'll likely see that one take longer than the others. And while this is happening, you're not going to see anything on your OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T. Whenever we held the volume up button for 10 seconds and then connected the phone to the PC with the USB cable, it turned on into a special boot mode, likely similar to what Samsung has with download mode but nothing is being displayed on the screen. It's just a black screen. And once you get to the download complete, you're going to see the OnePlus 3 boot back up. You can see it will boot on automatically.
once it gets to that part, we can unplug the USB cable from the device. Press and hold the power button. And now we're just going to wait for it to boot up. So that is how to unbrick your OnePlus 3 and your OnePlus 3T. And it is also a way of how to revert back to stock Android completely, meaning that it will revert back to the stock recovery, the stock version of Android, and everything.